Um, okay, so let me get this straight. It's 50, not 150? That's cool. Yeah, I can change it. Oh, hey, you guys. I didn't see you there. I was just trying to <coughs> rub one out. Hello, and welcome to the Daily Allison. I'm Allison. Today is Sunday, and I owe you guys a big apology because it's been more or less than daily than usually how it is when it's somewhat less than daily. But I have a good excuse. I have been, um, I've been working, actually. I've been doing writing assignments, which is, is, um, it's cool, and, but it's this real, like, return to my old career for me. Um, and so it's, you know, kicked off all these. Even though I've been busy, I've still had time to have an identity crisis. The, the same one that I have been having for a few years. It's, um, which is nice, you know, it's a familiar identity crisis as opposed to the unfamiliar identity crisis, which I suppose I could have if all of a sudden I was ordered, ordered? I was offered some kind of sponsorship for my ballet dancing, you know, which is really good. Anyway, what have you guys been up to? Hmm. I went um, for a bike ride yesterday, and I tweeted about it, um, but then Twitter is being a bitch and didn't uh, post the tweets. <clears throat> so then I came home and rewrote them, and then in the middle of the night it posted them, so it made me look um, redundant which is okay, but it's not that okay. Um, there's a lot of other things I could say, but let's just get right into it, okay? I offered you guys the chance to let me be your magic eight ball. Um, I said on Twitter, I'm like, I'm going to answer your questions. If you have a question about life, I will be your magic eight ball. And here's the thing. I actually have a magic eight ball, of course. People who know me know that I have one. Um, and I can't quite decide whether I should ask your questions of the ball or whether I should just be the ball. I'm going to be the ball. Here we go. Some of these might not be magic eight ball type questions. Though. They might just be questions for me. Who knows? We'll find out together. And um, I have not read all of these yet. Um, let's see. Coog97 says, should I buy these? Please, please, please say yes. Uh, don't try to influence the ball. Um, and anyway, these, I've gone to the link. They are these amazing parachute pants that are silver. And these kind of pants say, I will not be getting laid tonight. Um, so if you don't want your face to be saying it, and I don't, that's not, I'm not slagging on anyone's face. I'm just saying if you don't want to have to mouth the words, hi, I won't be sleeping with anyone tonight, you could just let your pants do the opposite sex repelling for you. So anyway, um, but you know, no offense to the pants. I think they're funny. Um, so signs point to yes. Okay. Mike Rosen 1 says... Um, do you like to cook? Are you a good cook? Favorite food to cook? Favorite ethnic food to cook? Can you tell I'm hungry? Concentrate and ask again. Um, wait, side note. Have I told you guys the pro baby story? I probably have, but it's one of my favorite Magic 8 Ball stories. Okay, so I um, am in college, and I'm with my friends, and we all went to the mall, and I was dating this guy. I was, like, obsessed with this guy for, I don't know how many years, a few years, on and off, um, that I was going out with, but it was the kind of thing where, when in looking back, I think to myself, self, you should have been out of that relationship so much earlier than I was, because, you know, it was just, it meant much more to me than it did to him. Um, anyway, and I've always loved magic eight balls. So, um, there's a tiny magic keychain eight ball, like a tiny little size one, and I was picking it up and I was asking it questions, and I'm like, um, you know, does this guy like me or something? And it was like, uh, you know, concentrate and ask again. And then I said, um, does he not like me or, you know, I, I don't know. Um, and then it was like a science point to yes. And then, um, I was like, is he dating, is he cheating on me or is he dating someone else? 
and I flip it over and I'm like, Pro Baby? What the hell is Pro Baby? But my friend looked at it, um, my friend Jeannie, who's the one who coined the term bozophobia, and she's like, that says probably. <laughs> because it was the little keychain size Magic 8 Ball, so it had a hyphen, and I, I didn't see it, I just thought it said Pro Baby. So, that's my answer to the cooking questions. Pro Baby. Um, no, but anyway, to really answer the question, I do like to cook. Um, but I am not a good cook. I'm an interesting cook. I am the kind of cook who, I just, um, I like to do weird things with ingredients. It's like I'm into molecular gastronomy, but it's not fancy, and it involves Splenda. Um, like I make, uh, I make these egg white meringues. It's, see, I'm always trying to cook things that have zero calories and zero taste is that's just a, a um a side benefit you know so i do a lot of things with splenda and egg whites and just lately um because i'm kind of disgusting i've started using sugar-free jello as a condiment in various things um but last night I mixed sugar-free cherry jello and sugar-free orange jello together thinking that it would make delightful like mixed fruit flavor and the orange is overpowering so I'm not into that but I've also and I'm gonna make a blog post about this I've been making vanilla ice cubes I'm gonna save that for a blog post they actually taste like watermelon it's very strange all right Rafast is certainly not how you pronounce his name Ra R-A-F-A-C-S-T says, I have a question, when will you be on the 404 again? I don't know, but hopefully soon. Um, in fact, I was on the phone with Natalie the other day, and Wilson was in the background, and I said to Natalie, tell him I want to be on the show. And then she did, um, and then they all hung up on me. No, I'm just kidding. And then it, uh, there was some discussion of, like, you write, so-and-so should write so-and-so or something. So hopefully soon, because I missed me on that show. And multiple people have said, when are you going to be on Red Eye again? Um, and I don't exactly know, but I would imagine pretty soon. Um, let's see how we're doing on time. Oh, we don't have that much. Okay. Um... Stefan MK1 says, or Stefan, if someone ever made a TV movie called The Alice and Rosen Story, who would you want to play you? Me. I would want to play me. But if I'm not available, then how about, um... Charlotte Ray. She played Edna Garrett. Cousin Slowpoke says, will Katie ever escape from Tom? Outlook not so good. That's what the Magic 8-Ball says, but I disagree. I think probably. Um, let's see if there's any last questions. James Wigayoma, Gigayoma, says, will sweet tomato be as awesome as I remember? I don't know what sweet tomato is. However, let me go into eight ball mode. Outlook not so good. I'm sorry. Did I, did, was it, was it just outlook not so good for the Katie and Tom question? I hate when that, when they, when the magic eight ball starts giving you the same answer, and you're like, is it stuck? What's going on, you know? So I don't know, though. I, I just know what the a says. says. Um, all right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. It was kind of weird, right? But weird can be good. Weird can also not be good. Think about it. Hmm. Um, all right. I'm going to try to be more daily with the Daily Allison this week. I swear. So make sure to come back. And then also I have like three written blog posts in my head. So, oh wait, I have a question for you. Oh, I'm so out of time. I have a question for you guys. For anyone who's watching this who is actually someone who has written scripts, um, 
or movies or anything like that and ideally has had them made, I would like to know, do you have a writing partner or do you do it solo? Because I'm trying to do this stuff and I'm wondering um, about the whole, it seems like most people I know have writing partners, but I'm not a writing partner person or I haven't been thus far. So I'm just wondering, you know, okay. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.